Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm really excited because I'm sharing my first tutorial using products from my new collection, which is Super Sliders. So I'm going to be showing you how to construct and put together the Circle 6x6. So that's this one here. Now this is at the moment proving to be the most popular. So I have the 6x6 square and also the zigzag, or it can be, you don't have to have the zigzags, but that's the 5x7. And you'll see them in future tutorials that I'll be sharing very soon. If you haven't seen them and you haven't seen the new collection, I'll link up the kind of closer look video that I've got and that will show you the whole collection and you'll be able to see the other two uh, dies there as well that create those other sizes. But this is the one I'm going to show you today and I'm actually going to show you how to have it as a gift card holder. You actually just make it the same way but we're going to add some foam to give it a little bit of dimension which will allow for the gift card to be able to slide in and out. But it's a really lovely set. So these are the samples that I've already created. Some of you will have seen me do these either when I launched on Hachanda or during my Facebook Live with Craft Stash. So the kind of the... the I guess what the die was kind of made to create is this kind of theatre mirror here. So you have all these little circles that are like little light bulbs and depending on what kind of card stocks you use I've used this mirror card here to create the look of a mirror and then I've just filled it with all of these perfume bottles and you've got you know your makeup and you've got earrings and then you just pull the pull tab and you have your makeup kind of compact or palette um, that's revealed there you can obviously have a sentiment which you'll see on the other samples here in a moment and then it just says there hello beautiful and the whole thing folds down and that will fit into your envelope but it's also you know they can be a top folding card as well so if they want to be displayed that way they can do and then the other version was this one here that I'd made and this is using you know the same thing so this is behind these kind of little circles these light bulbs is this lovely die here so it's got a really nice pattern and shape to it and again pull this one up and this is all heat embossed and this one here says girls just want to have fun and I've uh, stamped the lips there as well and used lots of glitter and sparkle. The papers are also from the collection which I'll show you in a moment and then this is now the gift card version so it looks exactly the same but actually there's a there's a thin piece of foam running under here and it just gives you that space for the gift card to then slide really comfortably you know in and out so that's the one that I want to show you because all you have to do is just you know swap out the foam and you'll just have these normal styles and there's another one here as well so you just pull this and you can see there you have the happy birthday glamorous friend I've used lots of glossy accents on all of the embellishments there love the earrings I just think they're such a nice addition and I love this as well but you can see there you've got all that space and you just want to use a little glue dot these ones here I've got to buy stick to anything and you can just pop them behind the gift card and then just pop it in there. I just think it's a great way of you know sending a gift. So the papers, I'll quickly show you them then we can get straight into making the card. So these are the two pads that I've got. So you have your geodes and you have your candy and they're beautiful. This one again is proving very popular as well just because of this, these lovely two here but I use this one on here and I just love those two colours together, that soft pink and that teal colour turquoise. I just think it looks really, really nice. So let's start making the 6x6 six six circle card. Okay, so these are all of the dies. All right, and what I've gone ahead and done, so I've got my 6x6 six six card blank here. I've actually just cut this from a piece of 12 by 6 and then just uh, scored through the middle there at 6 inches. But you can use shop brought and I've just put a matte layer in there which is 5 and 3 quarters squared and I've just stamped a sentiment from my stash. So that's all ready to go. Then what I've actually done as well is I've cut this piece here, which is five and three quarters squared. Now, if you were working on a white card blank to start with, for example here, you wouldn't need this piece because you would stamp your, your messages and sentiment directly onto your card blank. But because I'm using this teal color, I want to have this white so that I can stamp onto this. So that's what that one's there for. Then I have cut this piece here, which is that beautiful geode effect there, using this die here. So that's your main matte layer. Okay, so you just need to cut that one once or twice, depending if you want to stamp. You might not want that white frame, so you could stamp and you could cut another one in white and then have that behind to stamp on so you don't have the frame. You know, there's there's lots of ways to put this together. So once you you know you have yours and you start playing around with them, you'll be able to decide what it is you want to do. But you can see there that fits nicely over the top. We want this one here and we just want this pattern piece 
and with all the mechanisms across the three you will have these three rectangles you've got this small one at the bottom it's always the smallest one you want facing you and if you flip it over the top is actually a score line and then the three sides are cut lines so it will always stay attached at the top and then there's a score line in the middle here and a score line here and then you're back to that cut line but if you just always remember you want that smallest one facing you now depending on how much of the tab you want hanging out the top you do have the pull stamp which is in the sentiment stamp set which is just here you've got the pull there okay so we're going to cut our little finger pull here as well we'll stick this down in a minute at the same time so you'll stamp your pull there but you'll have your pull tab sticking out the top so you want to bring this down as far down to the bottom as you can get it really as long as you've got a tape that's going to fit within that space well, I've got this one here which is a really thin red tape it's very strong and it's perfect for this and this measures you're coming in at one eighth of an inch okay but you can go a little bit thicker I've been using this one as well okay but obviously the higher up you have it the more of that tab you're going to have hanging out but you can trim that as well so you know if you do get to it and you think oh, I've got too much overhanging um, and I want it to fit in a shop brought envelope you can just trim the top of it because you're still going to have that finger pull where you can stamp the word pull so the person's going to know still what to do with them anyway but I'm going to keep mine about here okay and then I've got some of my tape here you can use washi tapes as well this is just the one actually Helen from Handmade at Helen she very kindly sent me these so I've been using them a lot but they are still very sticky they're the crafters companion ones so I've just been taking some of the stickiness off just rubbing it on my clothes there but whenever you're sticking this down just to tack the die in place always make sure you stick your you know your washi tape or whatever within this middle rectangle because this is the one that you're going to cover so if you do peel off any of the paper the pattern it won't matter because you're going to cover it up but you will see the back and you'll see this very front piece here so just lightly there I'm just popping that one in place and then I'm just going to cut another little piece of tape there Again, just take some of that stickiness away and then this one is going to sit in the center along the top here and what I've been doing is just using my ruler and it's two inches in from each side five centimeters so I can see there two and two and then you just want to clip it so that the top kind of sits on that top score line and then it will just cut that semicircle so I'm just gonna tack that in place there so that now is all ready for me to run through my die machine Okay, so take that one off, that's cut really nicely and you've got that perfect little finger pull and then this one here I'm just going to carefully just roll that tape back towards me and you'll see that it just peels off and it won't damage. Oh, I've got a little bit there but again, you know, this is quite sticky. If you've got any of your washi tapes, they're generally quite low tack so it should be fine but it's going to be covered so I'm not worried. So there now you can see that we've got this piece still attached at the top there so you want to fold that one away from you so it creates a valley fold then there's a middle score line here just fold that towards you okay and then so you've now got a mountain fold and then this little score line at the front here you want to make into a valley okay and then if I bring that down you can see how we've got that mechanism now okay now I've already gone ahead and prepared these pieces so I've cut using the same pattern paper this circle using the circle die just using this one here. Now you can cut that into this and it gives you a nice frame so you can use that in other ways as well and then I've also cut that nice one here and these are great on their own if you just want to have them as a nice topper you can have that as a gift tag you can have it as a topper on a card with a shoe you know that's actually a nice gift tag with the shoe and everything on it on a plain gift bag so you know there's lots of ways to use it but you can see there I've already gone ahead and die cut that one as well okay so what I've gone ahead and done is I've also gone and die cut this piece here which is that rectangle piece which is this one here okay so that's now going to be our pull out piece now I've gone and stuck that tape on because I know it's going to fit on this card but if you with this piece here, basically what's going to happen is, you can see I've put my tape just on that small rectangle there. This is going to attach to this, but you want to make sure you've got an equal amount overhanging this mechanism piece. And then you can see exactly how much space you've got to add your glue. So if you have got a tape that's wider, you can see the space that you have here, but you don't want to come in anywhere in to this bit here because this won't be able to slide up and down. This needs that clearance space. So if you do want to use a liquid glue, I, you know I would say you can do but you want to make sure it's a very thin bead that's really on the outer side so that when you do stick this to the card blank if the glue does spread out it's not going to spread out into this area here 
okay so prepare that piece so it's like that so you've got the tape there and then on those three sides and then what I'm going to do first of all is just take the backing off of this one if you do want to stamp on this one do that all well you can do it after and I shared that in the demos I actually you know done a lot of the stamping when it was all put together because it does all lay flat but I'm just going to kind of sit it at the top here and then slide it down just making sure that you've got a nice equal amount and then you're just lining it up with the bottom there and then stick that one down and flip it over and pull it up. Now if you did have anything hanging, hanging out here just trim it off You can just flip it over and you can very easily go in there and just trim it away so don't worry if it did you know come down and you started to see it but you can see now we've got a really nice movement there with our mechanism. Now back to the card blank so I've got that white piece so I'm going to sit this over the top so I've got a nice equal frame like so and then I'm going to pull this up as if I was opening it now it's up to you how high up you go, I mean well on the circle one you can only go up to where that starts to curve, if it was the square you can go even further, but you want it, well it's up to you depending on how much you're stamping, but I'm going to have it about there, so it's about halfway, and then just grab a pencil and just very lightly mark a pencil mark on all four sides. Now you could stick this all together, do this and stamp and not do the pencil, it's entirely up to you, once you again you start using them you'll find a way that's you know you're happy doing that is comfortable for you but for the minute I would just say just mark that off so when you take this away you can see now where we can you know the area we've got to stamp our message. So I'm going to use the same one that I've done before which is happy birthday glamorous friend and again these are all the sentiments within this set here. And um, I love the change of the font there. So the glamorous friend with the happy birthday. I think they look really nice together. And also I was looking through my inks. And if you like to have your inks matching your papers, the Harmony Quick Dry in the Lagoon colour matches this paper in the turquoise with the turquoise there really nicely or that teal colour. So again, you know, um, lots of people, you know, liked that. Um, I'd found a colour that worked really well with the papers so if that's something you like and you have that one then yeah it works really well so I've got my happy birthday so I'm going to sit that one just there so I'm working within those little pencil marks that I just popped down like so and then I'm just going to pop the glamorous front you could put them both at the same time but I kind of like doing them both separately and then I can kind of position it exactly how I want I like it quite close to the happy birthday like so now I also added some stars on the other one but I've done that when I put everything together so I'm going to leave it for the minute and then come back to that now you want to rub out those pencil marks because it's a quick dry I can you know carry on straight away I don't have to wait now we're going to stick this over here so we want to take off Okay, so what I've just gone ahead and done is I've actually done it as if it was a normal card. So you carry on and do this and stick it down, but I want to have a gift card in this one. So on these three sides, you will actually add your foam tape. This is the silicone foam that I use. It's really good. It's by the Dot and Dab range and it's available from Craft Stash and lots of other stores online. I'll share the links below. It's by Trim Craft and you get this kind of packaging that you want to keep it in because I am um, accidentally just kind of flung it off to one side you can see where I've caught it on some paper um, and it will stick to anything so just take you know bear that in mind but I'm actually now going to go over this area and you can see it's still it's that width that will still fit nicely in these um, you know kind of sections anyway but like I said if you don't want to have a gift card in this then just leave it as I had before so we'll just add it just means it's going to stick really well to the paper don't worry if it curves up, that's what will happen when you use foam because it's got the release paper on the top. Once you take that off then the whole card will flatten so don't worry at all there. Okay so now that's all ready so now I'm going to take the, the backing off there. Okay and then flip it over. So I want to make sure I keep a white border. If this was the same size as this piece then you would just you know line it all up. What I'm actually going to do is do it this way here. So I can just focus on the bottom, make sure that's all lined up and just push that up like so. So I've got my nice border and this moves up nicely but it's got that area here now for that gift card if that's what you choose to put in there. We were saying as well you could probably put a scratch card on there or something else. You can also have those like friendship cards that have nice, nice little quotes and notes on them. That could sit in there quite well as well. So now I'm just going to stamp my little pull. So I'm just going to ink that one up and then lay that one down like 
like so. And then I'm just going to add glue onto the back of this piece here. And then make sure that my card's opening the right way. And then stick this on here with that nice border. Okay, so now, like I said, if you if you don't like that that's overhanging, because I could go down a little bit further still, then even at this point, and I'll show you, I'll do it now, just in case anybody's a bit unsure, but you can still trim that. So I can open that up, pop it in my trimmer, and if I wanted to, I need to keep everything straight, I can just take some off there. And you can see there, it will still, you know, work perfectly. All right. And then I've got these pieces now. So I'm going to use my foam tape on the circle just for some extra dimension. Stick that one down there. And then I've gone ahead and I've die cut all of these pieces here, which all come within that same die set. There's the earrings. So I die cut them first of all in gold. Then I die cut them in the teal colour and then just cut off the little kind of the stud part there. So then you just, or the, the, the actual piercing, and then you're just left with the stud. And then I've just used a flat, pack, flat back pearl on the top there. Put some foam on the back to attach them. Again with the lipstick there, I just die cut it in the teal colour and in the gold. And then just cut the top off the gold and stuck them on top. So you have a teal coloured lipstick. And again with this one here, I just cut it in gold and then in teal and then just backed it. It just looks really nice and it just keeps everything matching. And I've die cut the shoe quite a few times. There's about three or four layers stuck together there with the cloud glue. That becomes a really nice embellishment. You know, you could have that as a dangle on a mini album or something. So it looks really nice as well. So I just want to start building that all up. So I'm just going to take my backing off and just stick that all down on here. Okay, so there's my little topper ready. And then what I was doing with the other card you can see here if I just bring them back in is I've used little pearls all around the circle there and I just think they look really nice so I did put a little bit of glue on each one and then added the just I think sometimes the adhesive on these isn't always the best and they do tend to fall off so I'm just you know putting a tiny little dot there just do a few at a time and then I can just lift these off and just sit them over there and you just know that way that they're definitely going to stick down and they're not going to end up you know falling off by the time that person receives it so I'm just going to go around and stick those all down okay so there's my top I think it just finishes it off so nicely with those pearls on there so next we can just stick this down so along the bottom half just about that much, about a quarter of the way. You can see the area that you need to fill. So basically this is gonna sit within that middle rectangle only. Don't, make sure it doesn't go past. So if I pull this up, it can't go past that score line because it's just gonna bend and it won't lift like it does there. You can see now how nice that looks. So I'm gonna keep it flat. I can see everything straight. You can see your pull tab there as well, but if it does go over that, it's, you know, it doesn't matter. The person will still notice it when you give it to them anyway. But now that's all stuck down and then I'm just going to add, let's do this one here first and the earring's just going to decorate the front. If you add anything here, so I've put my foam pad to the, uh, the right hand side so when it flips over it's on the left and then it will stick on this bit but not on your mechanism but it will overhang into that corner but because it's lifted it's not going to affect the way that that works. It will slide under nicely but it's, it's a nice way to be able to decorate the front there. So again if I just take off the backing on the earrings and you can kind of just you know have them just overhanging a little bit into that area I just think it looks quite nice okay so you can see all that decoration there it looks lovely and then you can just pull it up you get your lovely message and then if you've got your gift card just pop a couple of little dots on the back there and then you can just sit that one just kind of pop it under there slightly so it's just under the pull and it's in the center there like so and you'll see there it just sits in there really easily it's just such a nice gift you know and surprise for that person to see when they they open up the card but I did say about adding the little stars which I have been doing so you know you can still like I said stamp on this card or even when you put it together because it is flat so I've put the star towards the top corner there so it allows me to be able to get in so I'm going to pop one in the middle and then 
Put one there and one there. And I think it just finishes off the card really nicely. Like I said, you've got all that space inside so they can display it like this or pop that ink back away there. Pop that back down and it will display really nicely even when it's like so. So that is the way that you construct the circle slider card. Okay, so there is the finished card. I think it looks lovely. Really like these. I love that you can have the gift card in them. So I just think it's always nice sometimes, especially if you're posting maybe to someone um, you know who you don't always see. So you want something that's going to fit easily in the in the post or in a nice little box. Then you know that's a nice way to gift them. But yeah, I really have enjoyed these. I just think they're such fun cards to do, and they're you know to have the mechanism do all of that kind of measuring and cutting for you, and then you can just kind of spend your time doing all that fun decoration. Um, yeah, I've just really enjoyed it. So I will link the kind of close look one here somewhere as well and um, I'll link some other cards that you may like and I'll also a picture of my face will be just there if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like the cards that I've shared today then just click on that and you'll get notified when I do post another tutorial so thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon bye